most of you know the lady on the end over there. Her name is Ruth. Nope. No. no. Ruth. 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 Oh, you almost got it. Bay. Uh, Bay Ruth. Almost. Bay. Bay. By the way, if you said Bay. Bay. Oh. Did you tell? Did no. you tell? Jimmy. Got it. Okay, good. Jimmy, you so. <laughs> it's a Beth. And by the way, you did, I think, mention May. May um, was in the hospital for a, a while. Uh, she is at home. Uh, she's doing okay. I talked to her. Uh, she's tired, though. Okay. She's tired, um, and they couldn't, they couldn't find what was wrong, but she, she passed out in her own apartment, correct? And so we want to keep May in our prayers. Uh, we want to uh, definitely have her in our thoughts and our prayers each day, and we pray that God continues to strengthen her. But you brought somebody along. Beth, would you introduce her for us? This is Chris Mice. Mice is M-E-I-S, right? Chris. And uh, we appreciate her help. So are you friends? How did you, uh, not related in any way, no, friends, from friends. friends from church. Uh, they both come from St. Mark's Lutheran Church, which is right up the road. It's where I also go to church. Uh, my mom is here, and uh, she's here too. Uh, she always is here to support, and she's a member of St. Mark's. All of you are invited at any time to come to church with us. Uh, our family would love to have you come along. Uh, uh, ne next month, we're going to be sure to have a, a day when we invite you and we'll shut the rock down and we'll walk up to church. So look for that day. That'll happen uh, next month sometime. Starting but uh, what? Starting the seventh of next month, I'll and, be going to Bible classes there. Right. Um, Amanda is going to go to Bible class with Pastor Walter uh, to eventually also become a member of St. Mark's. I am. That's wonderful. She's also thinking of by becoming an adult volunteer here I am, at Mama. The Rock. I and what Brandon is telling me is that he is a member of St. Mark's as well. I and he became a member at The Rock. And Anthony, too. Right. I chose St. Mark's. Come on, John Glover. And, uh, yeah. no, you're, you're me. Come to St. Mark's with us, but well, that's wonderful that you feel like a member. Let's get you going on there. Maybe you could go to yeah, what? What is that? It's like brownies, right? And those are donated by Mrs. Murky, Murky and she has also donated pizzas in the past. While I'm talking, please don't. Thank you. And we appreciate her. And you also brought in chips today, special treat for the teams, um, because we have less of a Crowd tonight, uh, probably due to Riverfest, uh, you can each have a soda out of the okay, refrigerator as long as you don't waste anything. Uh, be sure to drink up your soda in time here, okay? If you're not going to drink it up right away, somehow mark your can so that you can go back to it and finish it up. I, don't, I just hate seeing uh, soda being thrown away that has a half full can. As you know, I grew up in Africa and that taught me a lot about cherishing what we have. Now we're going to have a little prayer. Uh, we cherish also God's gifts to us, and that's the food we're about to enjoy. Uh, today, during our Bible talk time, we're going to be talking about uh, food in a way too, uh, but not food like we're eating now. However, I did take a look at the package for the hot dogs, and it says they're, um, they're better hot dogs, I think, than we have. I think somebody donated some. It says made with pork and turkey, I think it said. Um, and of course, both animals. Now, in God's word, God used animals for different things. Yes, he tells us it's okay to enjoy the food he has given to us uh, through animals. He, he says that's just fine. Uh, but he also, in the Old Testament, used animals and commanded a certain animal to be used as sacrifices. At first, that might shock you, but we're going to learn today how one sacrifice especially, the sacrifice of a lamb, was to point to Christ's sacrifice on the cross once for all as the Lamb of God. So every time they sacrificed a lamb and its blood was shed, it was reminding them of the Savior to come. But we have a Savior who shed his blood for us so that we would be forgiven and we are forgiven. Thank God for that Lamb of God. So we'll do that right now, okay? Um, let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you so much for all of your wonderful gifts. 
Thank you for the gift of the Lamb of God who has taken away the sin of the world. Dear Savior, thank you for coming and shedding your blood so that through that sacrifice of yours on the cross, we would be completely and totally forgiven and have, through your grace, eternal life. Thank you for that, and thank you also for a reminder of that through your word as we hear it here at The Rock. Help us to also attend worship so that we hear your word there regularly and also worship with other Christians. We pray for May that you would strengthen her in body and in soul. Continue to remind her of the Lamb of God who has taken away her sins so that she always knows of your love. Prepare us all for eternity in heaven with you as you keep us firm in faith. We pray also, dear Lord, that you have us acknowledge and uh, show thankfulness every day for all of your blessings by the things we do and the things we say uh, in our lives. Help us to do that now as we together ask you to be our guest and give thanks to you. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. All right, you guys can go. I know I have a nice little home among you. Bye.